Hi there! Welcome to another episode of Honest Reviews, the popular YouTube show where we take a look at pro-quality products that you can buy using your hard-earned dollars, or quit if you're from across the pond. So come and join me for my fair and unbiased opinion of this week's 5-star product. We look forward to working with you. Hi Sparkyo, my name is Gabby and I'm an Amazon seller. Our company mainly sells electronic products such as speakers and microphones. I've been following your account for some time and I think the video in your channel is great. We'd love to work with you and we will provide you with an excellent new wireless microphone for free in exchange for sharing your honest review on your YouTube channel. Please let us know if you're interested. May you like it. Looking forward to hearing from you. Best regards, Gabby. And they included this picture. Isn't that nice? First, Gabby, I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. I believe you sent me this generous offer because of the last video on my channel where I highly recommended a competing product. Gabby, you alone have been at least 3% of the views of that video, and it's dedication like yours that makes my fans the best on YouTube. As 1.4% of my subscribers, your input is so important to me. It's what keeps me making excellent content, and I could not be a highly successful professional influencer without you. So again, thank you. Now let's take a look at Gabby's microphone. Obviously, instead of getting this wired microphone for free, I spent $40 on it. Honest reviewers like myself call this journalistic integrity. Let's take a moment to watch this promotional video. All right, it's got some fancy graphics. Looks like we've got a whole kit here. Replacement card, opening the box again. Lots of plastic wrap, something. Got a nice hand there. Okay, we have a boom arm. Boom arm's good, feeling very positive. Shock mount, fantastic. Gotta have a shock mount. Put the microphone right in there. Oh, yep, and a, is that a, could it be? It is, it's a pop filter. Thank you, VG016 microphone. Uh, it's fairly affordable. It's made out of metal. The arm is nice and sturdy. Um, the design of it is really good. We have the stabling. Um, definitely recommend it. I'm really happy with it, and the price is right. I mean, it's you're not going to break the bank with this. Yeah, really, I don't have anything bad to say about it. And it stops just like that. Wow, that was a really great video. I wonder who this guy is. You know what? Let's go check YouTube and see if we can find him. Hey guys, welcome back to Bright Night Tech. My name is Berto and today we're looking at the Vagu VG016 USB microphone kit. We'll start with an unboxing and then we'll take a look at what it can do. So let's get started. This part, the, all the voiceover was done using this microphone, the Vagu VG016. Uh it's my boy Berto from Bright Night Tech, a fellow YouTube personality who gives his honest opinion in all kinds of popular tech reviews that both inform and entertain. Now I for one think it's great that Vegway is working collaboration with content creators and paying them in order to commission- What's that? Oh no. Oh no! Apparently, Vegway will just take content that they find online, cut it into a commercial, throw their logo on it, and re-upload it, without informing, crediting, or paying the original creator of that content. And I think that's great, so don't worry. As a fair and balanced reviewer, I won't let that bias my honest opinion in any way. Now, on to the unboxing. The Vegway Microphone Kit VG016, the one and only, nothing else like it, nothing compares, straight from Amazon. They put the shipping label right there on the box. They did not put it in its own box. Just slap some stickers on there. It should be fine. Of course, it's a total mystery how to open this box. Uh, well, there's the instructions. Now, there's no tape holding it shut. you think there would be, since they just threw it in the mail with a sticker on it. And there it is. The prophecy was true. It's the mythical pop filter. And next we have the manual. I'm definitely not going to throw this away immediately. Next we have the very important warranty card. I'm going to make good use of this. Since Vegway is a reputable household brand, I'm sure I'm going to have no trouble filing a warranty claim. And this is the most remarkable microphone cover that I have ever held in my life. Now let's pull out every piece one by one so I can show you how great they really are. 
I am beside myself with glee, breathing shallowly in anticipation, and definitely not because this kit reeks like spicy cancer. It does not smell like cancer. My nose isn't burning. The luxury of the Vegway V16 is obvious to see as it proudly presents itself like a peacock in the wind. And just like a peacock's tail, I'm a big fan. Have you ever seen packaging so lavish and delicate? It's positively decadent. Each item slips gracefully out of its packaging, like a ballerina on a banana in France. Just when I thought there were no more secrets to be revealed, I was delighted to discover that this kit actually did include a microphone. But alas, this preamble must conclude, for it is time to test the microphone kit. Shock mount! All right, now it's time to test this shock mount. But what is the best way to test a shock mount? Well, that's a hotly debated topic online, but one thing is clear. The best way to test the Vegway shock mount is to drop this microphone out this window. Wow, this little shock mount performed great. Just a little bit of cosmetic damage. Looks like the bungee popped out of these hooks, but we can bend it right back into place. I'm definitely gonna rate this shock mount five stars. POP FILTER! It's time for some accurate scientific testing of the pop filter. I've calibrated 100 milliliters of diet cream soda, and the pop filter carefully arranged here on my precision engineered graduated cylinder. First, we need to establish a baseline purity metric. I have my very expensive digital meter, which is going to quickly perform an in-depth analysis with a unit readout of up to three significant figures. Okay, it looks like the scan has completed, and we see that the baseline purity is 6.9. Next, we are introducing pop into the unit under test using the standard gravity-assisted viscous fluid method. You see the pop filter has a fast response time, almost immediately reaching its critical saturation point. Now we will continue with our precision test methodology till our pop reservoir is depleted. Using high-speed photography, we are able to demonstrate the effectiveness of this method. Filtered pop is captured for later analysis, while impurities are effectively rejected from the system and will be discarded through appropriate methods. The pop reservoir has now passed its drip out threshold, bringing this phase of testing to its conclusion. We will now reintroduce our digital meter to the filtered pop and perform a post-test analysis so the results can be recorded and tabulated for future statistical breakdown. We see that the results are once again 6.9, conclusively proving that this grill thermometer is unable to test purity. Upon visual inspection, it is noted that approximately 30 milliliters of highly filtered pop has been captured, confirming an original impurity factor of 70%. But the real question is, does the pop taste filtered? No. No. Ugh. It does not. The pop filter earns a rating of one half star. Stand. Unfortunately, I don't need a new cheap mic stand. It takes something a bit more substantial to hold my microphone of choice. But I do need a new jack stand, so let's go try it. This one is pretty simple. I'm just going to lower the car down onto the stand and see how it holds up. The stand was not able to hold up my car. Let's check out the damage and see where it failed. As you can see, the hinge still sort of works. It's pretty bent up though. If you take a look here over at the support, wedge it open. Failed right here on this arm, all the way up, and again on that arm. So it's still held together, uh, very bent up on the end at the hinge. Overall, it was a very poor jack stand, totally unsafe, completely unable to hold up my car. I'm gonna have to give it negative four stars. Build quality. I've got my screwdriver here ready to go. Now it's time to tear down the Vegway V16. Okay, now it's time to be serious. We're just here to take this apart and take a look inside. But no, really, we are gonna take this apart the right way. We do wanna put this back together after all. 
All right, now that it's apart, we can take a look inside. Okay, looks like we have a pretty standard circuit board. Nothing too impressive. Let's check out some of these marketing claims. Strong, no. Aluminum alloy, yes. Hammerproof, definitely not. Dual layer mic head, seems so. And I do not believe this small 14 millimeter diaphragm counts as a lange diaphragm. Overall, I'm pretty disappointed. I wanted to use my screwdriver. One star. Microphone set up! Audio quality? All right, now that I have the VG16 set up, it's time for some sound test. The microphone is set to 24 bit, 192 kilohertz, which is pretty good for a microphone this cheap. Although with the tiny condenser, it doesn't matter at all. The gain in Windows is set to 80%. I'm not going to add any audio processing effects, but I probably will change the gain in post. So this is my normal speaking voice. I'm about one foot away from the microphone. This is comfortable for me. Here I am up close to the microphone to test the proximity effect. Here I am about three feet away from the microphone to give you an idea of how it sounds at a distance. Here's the sound of Sammy eating a hot dog from about six inches away. Here's the sound of me hitting my entire keyboard on the desk to test noise rejection. Here I am talking from the front. Here I am talking at 90 degrees. Here I am talking at the other 90 degrees. Here I am talking about the other, other, other 90 degrees. And here I am at 180 degrees. Now here's some raspy asthmatic breathing at about two feet away. Here it is with me making no noise. Okay, now let's get into a feedback loop to hear how that sounds. And here's how Sammy sounds from about one foot away. I'm going to rate the audio performance at two and a half stars. I think the Vegway VG16 performed great in all the tests. Let's see the results now. Wonderful. The shock mount scored five stars, one half star for the pop filter, negative four stars for the stand, only one star for the build quality and teardown, and a respectable two and a half stars for audio quality. That 24 bit 192 kilohertz really makes it stand out from the crowd. Tally those scores up and we see that the Vegway V16 is truly a five star product. Out of 50. Now before wrapping up, if any companies out there would like to pay me to review their product or to sponsor any of my content, I am more than happy to. Just please remember, I work for money. Money. Not for microphones. Thank you, and good night.